everyone. Um, I am here. I'm just going to do the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag. Um, I really wasn't tagged, but I decided to do it anyway, and I'm here, and I'm just going to do it for you guys. Okay. So, I have the questions on my iPad over here, so if you see me looking over here, that's why. Um, and the first question is greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item? Um, mine would have my e.l.f. brushes. I have like three of these. They're only like three dollars. And I think they're, you pro you pretty much just get what you pay for. I mean, this one, I've had two of these and one of them broke. But, um, I don't know, I just love these and I love doing these for my foundation. And next is, what is your most expensive item? Mine is probably the Naked palettes. I have both. I have the Naked and Naked 2. Um, these are like, I think I believe this one was 50 and this one is 52. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, those are probably like my most. Um, another would probably be, I don't know if this is like an actual beauty item, but it would be my straightener. It was like 200 and some dollars. And, but I didn't think I would want to, I wanted to do it with makeup, so that was my most expensive. And the next is Wrath, and it's what beauty item do you lo have a love-hate relationship with? And that would have to be blush. Um, I put blush on every day when I wear makeup, but when I... I feel like if I put setting spray on, it never lasts all day, and when I come home, if it does last all day, it's just like all over, and then it makes my foundation not like match. So, I don't know, I've yet to find like a blush that stays all day. Um, I do have, I have NYX cream blushes, I use cream blushes and then I put a regular brush, or blush over it, but... They just never stay all day, so I never, I just have a love-hate relationship with them. Also on that question was, what product was hard, the hardest to get? That would ha definitely have to be the Naked 2 palette. Um, when I first got the email from Sephora that it was out, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go get it because I love the colors of it that were in the, pa I love the colors that were in the palette, but I could never find it anywhere. I got, I went to Ulta, I went to Sephora, I went to two Sephoras, we only have one Ulta in my town, so I just went there, and it took me probably at least two months to get it, because it was so, every time it was sold out. Um, and then third question is, gluttony, what are the, your most, um, delicious beauty products? That would have to be my Sugar Lip Polish, it's an exfoliator in conditions, it smells so good and I just love it when I put it on my lips it just makes them smell so good and it just gets all the dead skin off um, my, the next one is sloth number four it is um, what beauty product do you um, neglect due to laziness basically that would have to be makeup in general I put it on I try to put it on every day because I love doing it but um, for school when I have to get up at like 6.30 in the morning and take a shower and stuff, I just never, I always end up getting it like, getting up at like 7, so I never have time to do my makeup, I just do my hair, or just throw it up when it's the day not to wash my hair, and I don't know, I just, sometimes I just feel so lazy and I just hate doing it, but I, don't get me wrong, I love to do my makeup and I do it every day that I, I try to do it every day, but sometimes I just am too lazy. Number five is pride. Um, what beauty product gives you the most confidence? I would definitely have to be my Makeup Forever HD foundation. Love this stuff. Um, when I first started um, wearing makeup, I always never got the color right. I never had the... I never had... I could never go up to someone in Sephora and ask them, hey, I need you to match my color, and I, I don't know, I could never just do that, so I always just went to Walmart or Target and got a color that I thought would match me, and it never matched me, 
And so finally, when I did go get this foundation, this was $42, and when I went up, I was like, okay, I have to ask the girl to match me because I don't want to spend $42 and then it not be correct. So I love it, and when I don't put foundation on, I just, I don't know, I just feel gross and I don't know, it just you can see all my imperfections. And yeah. Number six is lust. What attracts what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? The first one would have to be that they are mature. And I love um blonde hair, blue eyes. My boyfriend actually has blonde hair, blue eyes, and he is two years older than me, which obviously is means that he's mature than me and I hate the kids in my grade. I am a senior and I absolutely hate them. I cannot deal with them. I have to get out of the classroom because they are so immature. Ooh. Um the next the last question is number seven in V, what items would you like to receive as a gift? Okay, I have two in this one. It would definitely have to be makeup palettes or even a uh, perfume. I actually got this perfume, which is Miss Dior Sherry. It's just the smallest one. I got this for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. My mom bought it for me. and But I would also love to just get makeup pal eyeshadow palettes. I love... This one was actually a gift to me from my boyfriend. He got it for me, and I don't know. I love it. I use it every day, um, and I would just love to get that, so... Okay, so that is the end of my seven deadly sins of beauty. So um, I tag all you guys to do it, and yeah. So um, just comment down below, and and if you don't make videos, you can just comment down below and tell me what your um, seven deadly sins of beauty is, and uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and subscribe, and comment and rate and everything else. So bye guys, see you later.